Okay. <laughs> Let's get cozy, shall we? What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> it's your girl. I'm back. Here I am. Listen, I know. I know that I've basically been like the worst YouTuber of all time in 2022. I barely filmed any videos this year. And honestly, I'm not really sorry. Well, no, I am. I am because I'm like bogus. I like make one video every two months and I'm like, I'm going to be back soon with so much more content. And then it's like, where's the content? And then I'm like, oh. What video do you want to see next? Mars through the houses? I've been telling y'all that I'm going to film Mars through the houses for like nine months. And then it's like, again, where's the video? So I'm sorry about that. I know you don't believe me, but 2023, I'm coming back. 2023, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. You're going to see it. I'm going to prove it to you. Anyways, you guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm just vibing right now. It, I'm, I'm cozy. I'm cozy, comfy, cutie. And it's Christmas Eve Eve right now. I'm drinking a glass of wine. I'm just vibing. This video is going to be random and unhinged. I just wanted to talk to you guys. I just wanted to catch up. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I wanted to fill you in on what's going on with, with me. I just want to talk about myself. <laughs> I'm a little goofy these days. But anyways, you guys, I miss you. I miss filming the last several months like especially the second half of the year, basically the whole year, I honestly felt like God was telling me to go live my life. Like stop worrying about creating content on the internet and go live your life. I was feeling really uninspired. I really honestly wasn't feeling excited about YouTube, which is sad because YouTube is like my passion. I love it. This is my, this is my favorite thing to do. Being blinded by the ring light, just vibing, just in the zone. Like, this is me. This is who I am. I was just out there living my life, being in the moment, connecting with people, enjoying being a human. And I feel like I needed that because it has like reignited my inspiration and my excitement to be creative and to sit here and chat with you again. I feel like I changed more in 2022 especially the second half of the year these last like five six months i feel like i changed more this year than i ever have in my entire life with the exception of when i went through my spiritual awakening in 2019 and this past october i actually had like another spiritual awakening that i'm kind of like leveling out from now you know when you have an awakening and you're like euphoric like you enter the euphoric state of being and you're kind of disconnected from reality and it's like is this a manic episode i'm still kind of in that vibe like my vibration has been raised we've we've taken it up a few notches i am not the same person that i was six months ago in the best way possible. And I just wanna fill you guys in on what's been going on. My first spiritual awakening was one of those awakenings where you wake up to the fact that you are a spiritual being having a human experience and you wake up to the spiritual nature of reality. And let me tell you something, I got lost in the fucking sauce. We're gonna talk more about that in this video. When I went through my first awakening, like I said, it woke me up to who I really am on a spiritual level. It reminded me that I'm this spiritual being. I'm a multidimensional being that is currently vibing on the earth plane. But you know when you go through one of those awakenings where all you want to do is connect to the spiritual nature of life and you forget that you're human. It's like you want to escape reality. You, you don't want to be on earth. You want to like transcend reality and you want to live in the 8D. And it's like, that's great and all, but you'll get lost in that life. And I got lost in that life. And now the awakening that I've had now is an awakening that has brought me back to my humanness. It's like, first I woke up to my spiritual essence and now I woke up again to being human, but I'm just doing it from a different perspective. I'm doing it from a conscious place because of the first spiritual. Are you following what I'm saying? Basically, I'm back to being a human. <laughs> Isn't that epic? It's amazing. I feel like part of the journey when you 
are on a spiritual journey when you wake up, right? When your consciousness expands. I think a lot of us fall into the spiritual trap, the healing trap, the spiritual trap. It's kind of hard to not fall down that rabbit hole when you first have an awakening because so much changes right before your eyes and within you in an instant. Like I woke up one day and my entire reality had shifted. Everything that I thought was real was no longer real. Everyone I thought I knew, I no longer knew. I was this brand new person. I was looking at life a different way. Everything was different. I realized I'd been lied to and brainwashed and like just living unconsciously. And then it's like when you have an awakening, it's like your psychic gifts start to come online. Suddenly you're reading people's minds and seeing spirits and having visions you know what i mean and like you're tapped into other dimensions you're tapped into other frequencies and so it's hard to not get like swept away and lost in the sauce it's hard to not do that because so much changes so quickly and then you're excited you're excited to like explore the spiritual nature of life and you want to just meditate and transcend reality astral travel around the earth plane like you want to do all of that all that shit but like where was i going with this oh the problem though is that it's really easy to get lost in that and forget that yeah you are a spiritual being and it's really cool that you have woken up to that but you're on earth right now like you're a human being right now that's why you're here on earth you're a spiritual being having a human experience. So actually the human experience is the spiritual experience. Like you're gonna have other spiritual experiences in other lifetimes, in other dimensions, in other realms, maybe in other universes. But right now, like you're here on earth. I came here to be a human, to experience what it's like to be a human. But when you go through an awakening, all you want to do is like run away from that sometimes. You just want to be tapped into the spiritual nature of everything that you forget to be human. I feel like that's part of the journey. You know what I mean? I feel like because so much changes so quickly, you kind of go to one end of the spectrum, like you're, you're lost in the sauce. And then like you have to go through that for a minute you know like you gotta fall down those rabbit holes you have to be fully entrenched in it and then you start to balance back out right you start to recalibrate and you're like okay wait but i am human i'm kind of losing my mind a little bit i want to bring it back down i feel like i changed so many things about myself and a lot of the things i changed it was good it was necessary it was things that I needed to change, right? Because all these things that I needed to improve on, I needed to adjust were suddenly in my awareness or not even like, not even that I needed to change, but I just, I was starting to see the way that I was sabotaging my own reality, my own relationships. I was starting to see these loops that I was in, these subconscious beliefs that were driving my decisions. I started to see like, okay, I'm actually in control and my life can be a hell of a lot better if I just make some adjustments and you know, I'm seeing it now, right? But I feel like I tried to change things about myself that I never should have changed. And at the time, in the moment, it felt authentic. It was authentic. I was acting from an authentic place at that point, from that state of consciousness. I was being authentic, but I was, I was also simultaneously getting away from my true essence. Like so many things about myself that I love about myself, that I embrace about myself now, I tried to change or like, or, or I tried to like dim certain aspects of myself, like my goofy personality, like my loud, bubbly, extroverted, unhinged, wacky, super inappropriate sense of humor, theatrical display of like communication. Like that's who I really am. And also just like being a sexy, feminine woman who's comfortable in her body and who is comfortable with her sexuality. I tried to like, suppress all that and like push it away and change it. I felt like I couldn't be sexy. I couldn't be as loud and crazy and flirty and fun. And I couldn't have an inappropriate sense of humor. I tried to change so many things about myself because I thought that I needed to be different. Now that I'm spiritual, 
I need to be different. I need to, I need to change. And what I didn't realize was that I was really just abandoning myself. And where did that really stem from? It's, it stemmed from shame. I felt shameful being sexy. I felt shameful being comfortable with my sexuality. I felt shameful being the loud, wild party girl, right? How many times have you heard me talk about like, I was the party girl. And it's like, it's okay that I wanna go out and have fun. It's okay that I wanna dance on tables. And yeah, obviously there were certain times in my life where I was acting out of alignment with my soul and I was in like very dark energy and so I was behaving in a way that I wasn't proud of, but like that's not even what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like my overall essence, my overall personality, who I truly am at my core. I tried to diminish that because I felt shameful about it. I felt like I had to change it. I felt like I needed to be pure and I needed to only speak loving words at all times. And even though, yes, words cast spells and blah, 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 I shouldn't have to change my sense of humor to try and fit into a, a mold, into a box of what it, what I think being spiritual looks like. I shouldn't have to wear different clothes or change the way that I walk because I feel like it gives off a certain impression. Like, no, I was abandoning myself. I wasn't being myself. I was trying to change so many things that I actually love about myself. I was trying to change things about myself that are truly fundamentally at my core, who I am and who I want to be. I went through such a period for like a solid one or two years where I felt like every single thing that I did, it needed to be meaningful. And it's like, everything is meaningful. I thought that in order to do things that were meaningful, that meant that like I couldn't have fun. I couldn't just be carefree. I couldn't like let loose and blow off steam and just act wild and goofy and silly like because that wasn't meaningful enough. And it's like what could possibly be more meaningful than enjoying your life and having fun? Like, what else are we even here for? <laughs> Honestly, obviously other things, but you know, are you picking up what I'm putting down? I just felt like I got lost in the sauce and I got lost in this world of, I always need to be healing. I always need to be serving humanity. I always need to be helping people. I always need to be doing things that are meaningful and powerful and spiritual. And it's just like, I forgot to be a human being along the way. I forgot to have fun. I forgot to enjoy myself. I forgot to be carefree. I forgot to be spontaneous. I abandoned so many aspects of myself to try and fit into a box. And another thing too, that like I'm not even, I'm not even ashamed to admit it. I really was a little judgy, was judgy, wudgy, fuzzy pants. <laughs> I really like, I don't judge anybody. I love you for who you are and do whatever you want. And I respect you and I respect your beliefs and all the things. I love people. I don't give, I don't care enough to care about what you're doing. But I really did fall into that spiritual ego where I would like look down on other people who were like doing low vibrational things. Like I'm not even afraid to admit it. You know, I definitely, I, I got lost in the sauce. I developed a spiritual ego. And now basically the point I'm trying to make in this video is that the second spiritual awakening I've been going through lately, it reminds me that I'm a human, I'm on earth, I'm here to learn, I'm here to evolve, I'm here to have fun, I'm here to love people and fall in love and have sex. By the way, like that, you, you're you allowed to do that and I'm allowed to eat whatever food I wanna eat and if I wanna go out and drink martinis with my girlfriends and dance and wear a cute little short dress, there's nothing wrong with that. Why was I villainizing? Is that the right word? Myself. Like, why did I think that there was something wrong with that? Because I needed to be spiritual. And it's like, bitch, I can't with you. <laughs> like, I can't. But I needed to go through it. I needed to go through it. But I feel like my ego, like my spiritual, I had an ego death, a spiritual ego death these last couple months. And I just, I really now am in a place where I love myself. I accept myself, truly. I'm so comfortable in my own skin. Like, 
more than I ever have been in my whole life. And I mean that from every angle. Like I'm comfortable with who I am as a person and my personality and, and the way that I speak and the way that I carry myself and I'm comfortable in my own body and I love my body and I feel sexy in my body and I just have so much acceptance for myself for once, like truly, 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 like truly. And it has really changed the way that I look at other people because now I fucking love you. Like I love you no matter where you're at in life. I accept you and I, and I see you for the journey that you're on. And if we're different or if you're doing things that I don't really resonate with or that I wouldn't want to do, like I'm not gonna judge you for it. Like that's your journey. That's your journey, boo. You're doing it. Do you know that I've done it all? Do you know that I've done it all? Any bad thing that you've ever done in your life, I did it and then I did it 15 more times to figure out if I wanted to do it again. Like, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge and who am I to think that I'm holier than thou because I had a spiritual awakening and now I read minds? It's like, stop. I've just been getting back to loving my life and if you guys, oh my God, how could I forget? How could I forget to talk about this? A year ago, Y'all know the video. I made a video almost exactly a year ago. It was titled, I have a broken heart. I have not been able, I posted it and I've never gone back and watched it. Not that I do that with my videos anyways, but I, I don't have the balls to watch it. I almost deleted it, but then I was like, no, because I'm not ashamed of any part of my journey. And that was very real and very raw and so vulnerable. And I just put it out there because that's what I do. What is... There's a fuzz flying around. But a lot of people told me that that video really helped them and it was they related to it, so it's up. Y'all know the video. But anyways, um, one year ago today, my life looked the complete opposite than it does right now. And I just wanna remind you that your whole world can drastically change for the better in a matter of months, literally. When I made that video, I was lonelier than I had ever been in my life. I really didn't have any friends. I felt so, because I was lost in the sauce. I was on a healing journey. I was doing all the things. And I felt like I couldn't be friends with my friends because they just didn't, they just didn't understand me. I had stopped talking to everybody. I had no friends. I basically, I, you know, I didn't really have much of a relationship at all with my family, which that's always been a thing. I've, I've always had sort of like, I've always been like the outcast black sheep sort of thing with my family. So that was a thing. I, you know, I was single, so so it's not like I had a partner to to distract me from my inner pain. Everything was like stripped away. I felt directionless. I had these really big dreams for myself, but I didn't really think I would ever be able to accomplish them. I didn't know where to begin. I felt really directionless. So I just felt, I felt I was in the void and I didn't know where to go or how to get out of it. And I made that video and I was so sad and it was Christmas and I just cried and I literally cried all day, every day for like weeks last December. This past year, I like really worked on enriching my life, okay? Like putting effort in to live my best life, like truly. And a big part of that was connecting with people. I had no friends because I felt disconnected from people, but like, I also wasn't making an effort. I wasn't making an effort to meet new people. There were people that would reach out and be like, hey, we should hang out sometime or hey, I would love to chat or do you want to meet for coffee or like I would love to FaceTime like people that I know on Instagram and stuff. And I would be like, yeah, totally. And then like I never would because I was too af I was too afraid to talk to people. So it's like here I am crying that I have no friends, but I'm also not making an effort to connect with people. Like I have to kind of put myself out there. I can't lock myself in my apartment and be afraid of humans and then be like, I have no friends. Like it doesn't work that way. And I also... You know, like this last year, I've tried, it's still not always the easiest thing for me, but I've tried to uh, get closer with my family and like include them in things and like show up 
for things, you know, like I used to bail on every family function and then be like, I have no family. And it's like, girl, well, what, what do you expect? You know, I've tried to like get closer with my siblings and hang out with them more. And our relationship has gotten so much better. I don't feel like I have no family anymore. You know, I have really, I've really stepped my fucking game up this year. Like seriously, I just have the most incredible people in my life. I have the most incredible friends. I feel like this year really aligned me with like my tribe, like my soul fucking tribe, like my people, my people, like you know who you are. I have the most incredible people in my life. I had to get rid of some people, you know, to make room for the ones that were meant to be there. And I have amazing friends, you know, things are good on the family front and I'm not spending this Christmas alone crying. I'm so excited. I have plans all weekend. Okay. I'm so busy. I have so many friends, you guys, but <laughs> I'm so popular. But the reason I'm telling you this is because like this time last year, I, what is, is it a 180? My life did a 180. Like I was so sad and so lost and so depressed and I just like felt so empty and alone. And now so much has changed this year because I really put in the effort and I really worked on myself and I really just like allowed myself to be in the present moment and focus on what makes me happy and remove the things that aren't making me happy and dive into my passions. You know, I launched my business this year. What? What? I did that shit, you know? I just stopped playing the victim and I started just living my life and like reconnecting with people and connecting with new people. And it's been such a game changer because now I have such a full life. I have such a full life and I'm loving it. Everything happens for a reason. I'm like so ridiculous with this outfit right now. And I'm really kind of hot actually. Everything, obviously, everything happens for a reason because I needed to hit that rock bottom. I needed to, I needed to have another dark night of the soul. And now I'm just vibing. I feel so light and so airy and so free and just living my best life, like truly enjoying the moment and not taking myself so seriously. I was taking myself so seriously for like two years. And now I'm like, girl, why? Why do you wake up so, where is the silly? Where's the silly? I am the silly, like just, embracing myself and loving myself for who I really am, okay? And not trying to be something that I'm not. So anyways, what else was I gonna tell you guys in this video? Oh, let me tell you why I don't resonate with the spiritual community anymore. This is kind of like a side thing that I could make a whole freaking video about and I almost have made videos about it and maybe I still will. But now that I've reawakened to my humanness, I um I just realized how deranged, <laughs> derailed, delusional a lot of the spiritual community has become. And I'm not hating because I was there too. I too once thought that that married man was my twin flame. There's a lot of concepts in the spiritual community, the, the new age community. And you know, spirituality has become very trendy and I'm not trying to be holier than thou because I just jumped on the spiritual bandwagon within the last like four years, okay? A lot of spiritual concepts I do resonate with, I do believe in, but I don't resonate with what it's turned into. A lot of shit's turned into something that it never should have been. For example, twin flames. Do I believe in twin flames? Yes, I do. But do I believe that the random tarot reader on TikTok that's telling you you met your twin flame even though you're really in a narcissistic relationship with an abuser? Like, I can't. Okay, people are in these unhealthy relationships where they're trauma bonded to one another and they're like, it's my twin flame. It's like, no, you need therapy. Like, you need to break up with him, okay? I'm not even on the TikToks, but like the things I've seen, the things I've heard of like of the tarot readers, I'm sorry, just like telling these people ridiculous shit. Like I read tarot professionally for a living for real clients who are seeking true guidance and clarity in their life. Reading tarot is an ancient, sacred, 
thing. Like it's, it's sacred. It's meaningful. You need to use it with integrity. You can't just be out there giving these bogus readings to people on the internet for views. Like I'm so not okay with that. Uh, what else? The accounts on Instagram that are like tonight, Saturn stations direct 29 years of karma will be cleared from your life. Expect miracles. It's like, no, <laughs> That's not real astrology. What is that? You know, and don't even get me started. The cherry on top of the fucking derailed cake. And this is like a thing. I went on a rant on my Instagram story not that long ago. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, I thought, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I thought we had something. Anyways, my point is this whole manifesting your specific person. No, no, I need you to stop this. Like somebody's got to stop this. Please don't manifest a specific Please stop trying to manifest a specific person. That's black magic. And it's very frowned upon in the real world of witchcraft. Okay, like that is so spiritually not okay. <laughs> like I just can't, I can't with these topics. Like you are using energy manipulation to try and get somebody to t send you a text and fall in love with you. Like it's black magic and I'm not cool with it. So there's so many things in the spiritual community that have become unhinged in a bad way. And it's like, you guys are just disconnected from reality at this point. Like literally, and I get it. Isn't that like the point? No, like too many things have just been turned into something that it's not. There's just a lot of manipulation in the spiritual community. I feel like a lot of people are doing it for like their own benefit and just like for money in their own pocket and for views and likes. And it's just like, we've gotten so far off from like the true spiritual journey, you know? Like what is this shit that we're doing now? So that's what I mean when I say like, there's a lot of concepts in the spiritual world that I do agree with, but I don't agree with what the internet has like turned them into. It's turned into something that it's not. And now I'm like, it's poisoned, you know? Like, so I don't know. I'm just in my own lane at this point. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing readings for clients. If you want, if you want a chart reading, if you want a tarot, if you want a tarot reading from a real tarot reader that isn't just here to tell you what you want and I genuinely want to help you along your journey, you know where to find me, KatherineEmilyAstrology.com. It's in the uh, description box. I'm doing my own thing. This video is probably so long. I wanted to let you know that I've been living my life. I've been living my life, I've been enjoying myself, I've been making friends, I've been hanging out with my friends, I've been falling in love, I've been doing my shit, doing readings for clients, mapping the stars, living, truly, truly though, let me take it all back. What I'm just doing is I'm being present, I'm taking care of myself, I'm taking care of my soul. I've been tapping back into my feminine energy because I was really in, I was really operating from a very masculine place for a couple years. And I was very just like, do I have, am I spilling wine? Oh my God. Where was I going with this? I just been vibing. <laughs> just been living my life. And I'm truly loving my life. Oh, bitch, I'm tapped back into my feminine energy. That's what I was saying. I'm in, I'm in my flow, okay? I'm allowing things to come to me. I've been in the energy of just receiving and loving myself and loving my body and being free and just oh just i'm just a magnet for good vibes right now and so i just want to let you guys know that's what's going on with me this video was probably ridiculous and i don't even know if you guys want to see this type of content i'm getting a little uncomfortable here it's like hot i'm gonna wrap this up i don't even know if you guys care about this video or want to see this but i just wanted to sit down and chat it's christmas eve eve i'm vibing i'm hanging out with my cat i'm having a glass of wine i'm ready to go oh i have readings to do tomorrow morning 
tomorrow morning I have readings to do, then I'm going to my bestie's house, and then I'm coming home, and then I'm getting up and I have another reading to do, and then I'm gonna make my world famous baked mac and cheese, and then I'm gonna waddle over to my sister's house, and we're having a seafood extravaganza and a sibling sleepover, and I just fucking, I can't wait. I can't wait, but anyways, my point is, of the whole video, is that I'm coming back in 2023. 2023, I'm going to get back to the astrology content on here for real, for real, for real, for real. I have a list of videos that I will be making. I thought about doing a video for Mercury Retrograde, which starts at the end of the month, but I just decided to let myself just enjoy the rest of this year, start 2023 off fresh. 2023 is my fucking year. You don't even know what I'm doing. You don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just vibing. I'm just going with the flow. No, I have big plans for 2023. Anyways, you guys, I love you. And I don't even know when this video is going to go up. Maybe if I can get it edited tonight, I'll just post it tomorrow on Christmas Eve morning and it'll get like five views because who's watching my video on Christmas Eve? I don't know. Anyways, I love you. Thank you so much, by the way. I've been gaining subscribers still this whole year, even though I've barely been posting and I still am getting comments on my videos every single day. And I love you guys, seriously, love you mean it. Like you don't even know how grateful I am that you guys are still riding with me when I've barely even been around in 2022. I'm excited to get back to it. I'm feeling inspired and creative again and I miss you guys and I love you and thank you for supporting me, seriously. Y'all are my people. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Have a merry holiday. If you celebrate the holiday, whatever, have a good year. Have a good, have a good year. Have a good life. See ya. No, have an amazing end of the year. Have an amazing New Year's Eve. I will see you guys in 2023. I love you. I'll see you in divine timing. How's that? I fucking love you.